You know when you just like, you have something in your head and you're like, I see this, it's going to be epic and you just, it's here and then all of a sudden it's there and it's just like, yes, that's how I'm feeling right now. I'm Lucy. And I'm Jono. And this is Reno Goals. Our next building challenge is all things bathroom. We've just finished completing two new bedrooms, one being the blue ocean room and the other being the green forest room. We now need to create two new en suites that are equally impressive to match. concept for these two en suites is in keeping with the color themes that I brought in for the bedrooms and I want to feature a colored tile in these en suites. I was actually really inspired by the master bathroom in the Paran house. That was just sensational. Those floor to ceiling blue Kit Kat tiles. Unfortunately, I don't have the space to fit a freestanding bath overlooking a glorious pool. However, I can get myself some blue tiles. So if I'm gonna do blue tiles for the blue room, I'll be doing green tiles for the green room. So I'm gonna reach out to Tile Cloud, get them to send me some samples. And then from there, I need to choose my vanity and my hardware. I really wanna bring in some timber and I also want to introduce some black elements as well because I want to create a darker, moodier aesthetic. Yeah, so that was the timber. So that's the Kota Arc. Right, okay. Do you know what I don't miss about the city? Trafo? Yeah, Trafo. The worst. Oh my gosh. Oh yeah, right oh mate. Okay, anyone gonna let me in? Oh, let in the Puma. Yeah. All right, so en suites. These are leading off our two hero bedrooms with the ocean and the forest room. I want to give you the first look of these most beautiful tiles which I've selected for these rooms. So this is the beautiful Kuji tile in ocean blue. This is from Tile Cloud. I love the deep rich tones of that tile. And I have also chosen a green for our bush room. So this is the forest. I love this tone. I think it just works beautifully. It doesn't need to be right next to the green, but it does need to correspond. So the main thing I needed to consider was to make sure that it worked with the respective green and blue in the bedrooms. And it also needed to work with the floor tile as well. So this is the Mornington limestone. This is in ivory. Again, I'm gonna go 600 square, keep that quite large because honestly, this is gonna be the feature. These are Kit Kat tiles, so there's gonna be a lot of them. My tile is gonna love me. <laughs> so there'll be a lot of grout as well. So it'll be quite busy, but it'll also feel quite full and rich, which is exactly what I wanna go for. In terms of vanities, Oh my goodness, have I got the most perfect vanity going in this room. So when we were looking around Reese, Jono and I stumbled across this vanity that was just drop dead gorgeous. It's the Cato Arc, there he is. I mean, 
sweet mother of vanity. That is such a beautiful timber. It's very rich, it's very earthy, and it's just the perfect feeling for this room because I really wanted it to be very natural, very raw. This is not a finish of what it actually is, but it gives you a sense of how rich and dark it will feel in this space. And on top of that, I've chosen an above counter basin. Again, I don't have an exact sample, but it's the most beautiful matte black. It's very heavy, very strong in the room. I haven't chosen black anywhere else, so it's very special for these two en suites. So we've got limestone, we've got timber, we've got black, we've got the colour, and then I want to tie it all together with, of course, the Lux PVD Brush Pure Gold. So this is from Sussex. I love the way that just brings such a beautiful warmth to both of these colour palettes. So that, guys, are my final two colour palettes. It's very rich, it's very colourful, and I think it's the perfect representation of the surrounding environment. It's just a little controller like this big for your underfloor heating. Because okay. you've decided to turn the bathrooms into saunas, saunas with I underfloor like heating and heated towels. I like to be hot. What's wrong with that? Yeah, I know. And is there like tastics and that going in? Oh, not a tastic. I mean, you got a separate exhaust fan, but heat, heat lamps or anything in the. No. Nah. Do we? <laughs> no, okay. do you want to I can specify it. No, we're not. <laughs> <laughs> and then yeah, we'll, once once it's all sorted, we'll, yeah, we'll do a walkthrough before plaster, obviously, with the uh, during roughing with the yeah. Sparky, and um, just work out your light switch heights and positions. And sounds like a plan. Uh, made a boo-boo though, didn't we? Made a mistake. Whoops. What right. was the mistake? Oh, we forgot about the window. Totally forgot there was a window here. Why did Rookie we forget this window? It's because we've got two en suites that are mirror images of each other and one has a window and one doesn't. Uh -huh. And we did all of our uh -huh. measurements in the one that doesn't have uh -huh. a window. Forgot about the window. Bit of a problem because my plan actually revolved around having heated towel rails here. Obviously can't do that if there's a window there. But down here again, this is our shower. Mixers, we've put all the mixers on the opposite facing of the shower heads. We think that's the nice clean kind safe, of treatment. Safe way to do so you don't have to walk under cold or hot water. Yeah. And we've just kept that consistent throughout all of the bathrooms actually. And we're also going to be putting in a um, niche. Oh yeah, that hasn't happened yet. No. Well, that's Problematic. Does that need to happen? Well, he's already braced, so maybe. Might have to speak to Sean tomorrow and see if he forgot. Comedy errors at the moment, Why isn't it? Why don't you just draw it on the <laughs> wall? Lighting, have we sorted lighting in here, Jono? Not really, we've worked out where it's going, but we haven't sorted it. Great. Maybe a job for tonight. Great, all under control, nothing to see here. <laughs> Can you tell me if I'm doing this properly? What do you mean? Well, do I put these on after? Oh. Yeah. Are you attracted to me still? Not at the moment. That's fair. Oh. Come on, grab your gun. I can't get the thing on my... Oh, okay, we're good? Yeah. Don't look at me like that. Why are you looking at me like that? Look at my booties. Okay. Feeling very self-conscious. <laughs>
like I see this, it's gonna be epic and you just, it's here and then all of a sudden it's there and it's just like, yes! That's how I'm feeling right now. Floor looks amazing. He's done such an incredible job on cutting in those tiles, which is fantastic. the green room and I love it. I love it, love it, love it. Looking I need to bring in some good. light. Can you see it? It's probably a bit dark at the moment. It's all, grab, all grab cloudy. that light on the floor. Yeah. So these were made specially for us. Tile cloud. This room is all about greenery. It's all about trees, the forest, the bush. And so I love the different tones in this tile. Like I just am obsessed. There's all these little slight variations. And so when it actually comes to having it on the wall, look at it. Like just look at how beautiful that is. I love the texture of that. Oh, oh, oh my God, it's so good. Oh my God. Oh my Lord. Oh my God. This is like the best packaging I think I've ever come from. Oh my God. Stop. That is a showstopper. Fresh delivery. Stop it. What is it? So, <laughs> that's where it's going. <gasps> oh, holy shit. I am like legit obsessed with this. Looks good with that, doesn't it? It looks so good. <laughs> So I'm installing the vanities tonight. It's definitely a two man job. So I've got my brother coming along to make sure that we can lift them up and get them perfectly level. Over there. Just, like just an average no, just day. Great, love it. Next. What's going on here? <laughs> I'm ironing towels and don't get used to it, John O'Rod. Styling life. Yeah. Iron everything. I only do it for photo shoots, not everyday life. But we're nearly there. The en suites nearly finished. Yeah, they're so looking I've got pretty these good. Beautiful Coben towels, like literally the most delicious colours in the world. So now my hardest decision in life is choosing which colour towel for which en suite. I mean, tough life, isn't it? Very tough. Yeah. Lucky you got all the colours. Lucky.
legit obsessed with these en suites. Best en suites ever. Best. That we've done. Oh my God, easily. <laughs> I I can't eat, I can't even. I love them so much. And I think it's just the color that excites me. I get very excited by color. It was really interesting as well to see the same pieces but with different colored tiles next to them. Different backdrops. Yeah, like they were the same, but completely different. They each had their own character and tone and they very much changed. I mean, the blue room didn't have a window, no natural light really at all. So that was quite dark. And then the green room, it changes a lot with that window. It does, natural light definitely changes things a lot, but yeah. we were quite conscious of the lighting in these rooms, being small rooms and being quite dark with floor to ceiling tiles. Yeah. So it's got, they've worked out well. Yeah. And it's moody. It's super moody, but there's enough light to do anything you need to do in there. Yeah, exactly. And the tone of those tiles as well, they weren't a flat color. And I think that was really important because they had that variance. I think if we tried to match too closely to exactly what was happening in the bedroom, it may not have worked, but I really liked the fact that there was a lot of different blue tones and a lot of different green tones within those mm. different tiles. And the color of the grout, uh, we went with a darker gray. There's I mean, a lot of grout in those tiles. There like is. the tiles come in sheets, but still, there's, a lot, There's a lot of grout. So I think if, if you changed the grout color, it could change the whole room. It would, yeah. I think you could go darker. I reckon you could Especially probably go blue, darker. Especially on the blue, you could. Yeah, but I was really happy with how we opted for that kind of sort of mid gray. Yeah, looks good. That rich timber of that vanity, like I can't even, like I just can't stop talking or thinking about it, it's easily my favorite band. What about the basin though? You freaked out about the basins oh before yeah. you even oh saw my the God. timber. That black, and I, do you know what? I love the richness of the black. That is the only bathroom where I had the integration of that black. We haven't done that anywhere else. No, so we've kept everything else quite light. Yeah, so it's a nice different accent to really make these two on suites very special. So like what we did with the entrance, we put a cavity slider in, in the shower, we had it wide enough that we only needed a piece of glass and no actual swinging door. That actually makes a big difference, being able mm. to have a larger shower but not having to have a hinge door at yeah. all. It's a really decent size. It does contain the water. Like, it does actually act really well, doesn't it? Oh, it's it? super deep. Yeah, yeah. it's fantastic. Yeah. The shower head itself, sensational. They're pretty good. Good shower. <laughs> uh, can recommend. Have had, oh my God. I was in such desperate need <laughs> of like a hot shower and a good sleep by the time we got to these rooms. So I was very happy to have a shower in that ensuite. And I must admit the view from the shower looking out onto the ocean in the blue ensuite. When you leave the door open. I always leave the door open. <laughs> <laughs> the finishes in all these ensuites is great. You made a great choice. Thank you. And the quality of them, just next level. That brassy gold color worked everywhere. We've used it in all the rooms, yeah. but with such different backdrops and bench tops and yeah. sinks and everything. But it's, it's worked really well. In yeah. All of them. And I think it's just that one thing that was consistent throughout mm. this entire home that really ties it all together. But I was still able to have fun and play around with color and different tiles and different materials to match. I just think it works really well. I was really happy with it. So I'm incredibly happy with this ensuite. I am so, so proud of both it. Both ensuites. Yeah, both ensuites. Yeah. yeah. Well, done, well done, us. Yeah. We're nearly there. Almost done. <laughs>
I feel like it's not normal to stroke your bathroom wall like this, but kind of is now. Oh, it's a bit weird. <laughs>